Hey guys, how you going? Mick from Oztrex 4x4. Today, I'm gonna to stop my shaky mirrors in the 80 series by using the Solve Function Mirror Kit. Quite simple to install. I'll show you how we're gonna do it. And yeah, it's just as simple as screwing this on to the mirror backing, putting the post in, and if your clips aren't broken, slotting the bracket on the back of the mirror. Pretty simple, I'll show you how to do it. And let's get to it. So first up on this one, just need to grab a Phillips head screwdriver under the bottom of the mirror here and unscrew the Phillips head screw retaining it. Pretty simple. Now this mirror is actually broken by the looks of it pretty badly. And I've got some little spidey friends in here. So I'll give that a clean out and grab that screw so I don't lose it. And I will need to slot one of the brackets here, but I'm first going to clean out the uh, spider webs and then we'll get into it. Now, as you'll see here, I do have a broken clip on this side and this side is still intact. So what we end up having to do here is grab a Dremel or a small file or some sort of saw. We want to slot that hole and I'll show you why when it comes to fitting the rest of it. So we are wanting to cut through here like this and just slot this hole. As easy as that. That's all you need to do for this. And then we'll move on to the next part. Next up, we want to undo the two screws at the top here. This one and this one. So we'll undo those. And then with the provided screws that come with this kit, you'll fit the main part of the kit up the top here with the two provided screws. Put them in loosely to start with, so it all lines up. And then tighten them home. Like so, beautiful. So that post has a couple of slots in it. Just goes over the top here and slides down. Beautiful, perfect fit. Simple as that. Next bit is just replacing the mirror and putting it in. So now you replace the mirror. Easiest way to do this. Well, there's only one way to do this, really. So your mirror here needs to slide up underneath this part here and then slide in to the bottom post. So you may need to muck around a little bit here and move it around so you can see what you're doing and get that bottom post in. As easy as that. Put the bottom screw in. It is easier to see it from the bottom here. Tighten it up and it's done. As easy as that. So there you go guys, it's one of the easiest mods there. I'll put a link down to Lee from Soul Functions store where you can purchase this one from over in the US. And it's a simple, easy mod and fixes all your mirror shake. So you actually see out of your mirrors again without having to spend three or four hundred dollars on a on a new mirror. So thanks for watching guys, hope it helps you. Catch you in the next one.